We've been seeing it for a long time. When I was on council, we dug for bodies on the other side of the brick building because somebody said there was bodies there. Rumors of missing children and buried bodies at the Kamloops Indian Residential School have circulated for years. All those babies, all those children, will never know their grandparents, their mothers, their fathers, aunts and uncles. They kept that a secret. But it wasn't until Thursday that the Kamloops Band announced the discovery of remains buried near the former residential school. Last night, uh, I had quite a night. Uh, very seldom I ever cry myself to sleep, but I did. Chief Roseanne Kazmier says the loss was spoken about, but never documented. While I was being brought up over here, I knew there was something going on. I was very aware of it. And uh, at the time when it was happening, people were not uh, believing us. Uh, you know, when I came down, I never really believed it. That there was people, they said they always come down to look, there was, but I could always feel something. Several former students at the Kamloops Indian Residential School recalled memories of missing peers. So maybe at night we seen a lantern maybe. But, oh, there goes another kid another child or somebody I don't know it's just it's astounding to me they closed the curtains and they told us to be quiet and then I, I looked out and I saw them you know literally carrying something as a, at a young age so I kind of thought that this was coming but until the confirmation from the band some couldn't know for sure I suspected something when I was in there but I never knew till the other yesterday when I was driving down Squamish and I got the call. The 215 buried remains were only found recently using ground penetrating radar technology. The band is still working with a radar specialist to survey the rest of the land and they expect to find more remains as the 215 were found while searching just a portion of the area. Kazmir says they plan to have a full report ready in the next few weeks, but it won't be shared with the public until after the Tekemlips band members and other local chiefs have seen it. For Castanet News, I'm Sydney Chisholm. Thank you.